This week in Red Dead Online, the Breton horse is on sale all this week. So in this video, we're going to take the Claude Ruber and go head to head with the Breton. So let's get started. So for players that have been around, they know the Claude Ruber and the Breton were two of the original super heavyweight roll horses released in Red Dead Online. The Claude Ruber belonging to the Trader role, and the Breton, the Bounty Hunter role. And these horses, as you can see, they're pretty big, pretty muscular. The Claude Ruber's a little bit taller. We got them standing head to head here, but both pretty big horses. So let's go over here and look at the Claude Ruber first. Now it does have the Nacho Saddle, which is the best uh, saddle in the game. And as you can see, the top speed is 7 out of 10 bars, and acceleration is 8 out of 10. And if we go over here and take a look at the Breton, the Breton also has a Nacho Saddle on. And if we get the stats pulled up here, you can see this one is 9 out of 10 top speed, 7 out of 10 acceleration. So this one's got a little, a little bit better on the top speed for you. And now that we have the stats done, we're going down to New Austin and racing these horses head to head. So we are down here at the railroad tracks as usual. Both horses have been fed, so everything is equal. And off they go. So we're just going to follow those railroad tracks along. And as you can see, both of these horses are pretty much the same size. Claude Ruber's a little bit taller, got that longer stride. And if we look at the stamina and health rings, they're pretty much equal. After this, we'll throw it up and expand it out so you can see Claude Ruber does have just a bit more health. But anyways, here we come. Here's the finish line. And yes, the Breton does take the race, which, you know, is to be expected. It did have that extra top speed. And here we have the stamina and health rings expanded out. Now, these are level four fully bonded horses. Uh, stamina rings are 100%. The health ring on the Cloud River 100% and the Breton just almost there. Now let's talk price and options. Here's the Claude Ruber, and if we pull it up, it comes in six different color options. We have black, white, gray, carmelo, silver, and dapple wrong gray. Now the silver and the dapple wrong gray are going to be the best statted horses. And as you can see, regular price, $950. Now we move on to the Breton. Now the Breton comes in seven color options, so you get one extra. But the last two will be your best stats. So anyways, we go, we have the Red Roan, the Sorrel, Grulo Dunn, Sil Brown, Mealy Dapple Bay, and Still Gray. Now the Mealy and the Still will be regular price, $950, but this week in Red Dead Online, $570. Now to the fun stuff. So we're down here in Lemoyne. We're going to do a little gator test since these are both horses. Consider them super heavyweights. They're big guys. So we're going to see how they do around some predators. So we're just going to try to swim from this side over to the other side. Now we are starting from a stop position, not trying to run at the gator. And as you can see, the Claude Ruber didn't like it. Bucks me off in the water. But we're going to get back on and because uh, I feel like that we can get across this river. Now, the, of course, the best way to approach a predator in this game is you want to be calming the horse, and you also want, kind of want to run past it. Uh, if you approach it very slow, that's kind of the worst way. But to kind of keep everything equal, that's why we're, uh, we're, we're starting from a stop position, kind of uh, going across this slow. So and we'll give it another shot. As you can see, the Claude Ruber does get across. Now, here we go to the Breton. As you can see, the Claude Ruber is standing on the other side of the river. And uh, we threw up the evil vision there, so you can see the gators are still there. You can see the Breton is kind of wanting to go back. Uh, it doesn't like that first gator, but with enough, uh, you know, reassurance, it, it, we get it past that. Got another gator up here, and we're going to just barely skirt by that. You can see this horse doesn't like it, and still the same thing, you know. It, it's going to give you that buck option, you know. It, it didn't like it, you know, so... But, I'd call that pretty equal as far as these two horses are concerned. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find a gator just kind of chilling along the bank and, uh, you know, kind of a, approach it very slow. Now, like I said, this is not the best way to approach a predator in the game. Uh, you you want to move past them as quick as you can. But anyways, 
So first up, the Claude River, he's walking, he's walking, he's he's just chilling, he's chilling. As you can see right here, he's getting excited. He doesn't like it, he doesn't like it, and he's going to fuck us off. Gator turns around and says, no, no, sir. So now we're going to take the Breton and do the same thing here. Now the, the Gator's turned around, of course, but it really doesn't matter. As you can see, it's, it's going, it's approaching, it's approaching, and right here, it's it's lighting up so pretty much i mean the same proximity to the gator um both horses that same reaction time uh so as far as the predator test we'll call that equal so it's recommendation time and on this one just kind of going to leave it up to you guys i mean the claude river definitely is not a tier one horse uh meaning not your first choice breton could be but the bounty hunter role just takes so long to level up Probably going to have another horse that you've gotten established with. So, anyways, going to boil down to probably just the look that you like. Um, I mean, the Breton is going to perform better. Claude River is just a bit slower, but both kind of react the same way around Predators. Um, but anyways, in this video, wanted to kind of do something different. I'm usually comparing against a Norfolk, which is considered to be one of the better horses in the game. But I kind of want to bring out, uh, you know, two of the original roll horses. Um, the only, you know, of course, the third being the Criolla. But, but these are the two big horses from that expansion. But anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see any horses compared uh, against one another, if I don't own it, if it's not in my stable, I will purchase it. But uh, anyways, just, you know, drop me a comment. Let me know. But anyways, that's going to wrap this video up. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did... Drop me some love, maybe even that sub. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.